Hi, I'm Chip Davis, CEO of the Henry Ford Health Systems South Market and CEO of Henry Ford Hospital. In our journey to become a high reliability organization, patient and team member safety must be a top priority. Together, we are striving to reach zero harm. To achieve this target, the South Market is implementing a safety program called CUSP, which stands for Comprehensive Unit-Based Safety Program. CUSP aims to improve our culture of safety while providing frontline team members with the tools and support needed to speak up and identify concerns, barriers, or hazards that may cause harm to a patient or fellow team members. The goal is to use CUSP's five steps to help us to provide the safest patient care possible to every patient on every unit and in every department or clinic. CUSP was developed by the quality and safety researchers at Johns Hopkins Armstrong Institute. It has been used to target a range of safety issues, including patient falls, hospital-acquired infections, medication errors, teamwork issues, communication barriers, and more. CUSP is effective because it relies on team collaboration across all disciplines. As a result, everyone has ownership of the culture of safety. CUSP is comprised of five steps. They include educating team members about the science of safety, identifying defects, partnering with a senior executive, learning from defects, and improving teamwork and communication. In the first step, educating team members about the science of safety is key to understanding and introducing CUSP in your area. Within the science of safety, there are four principles of safe design. Engage, educate, execute, evaluate, standardize care, create independent checks, and learn from defects. Henry Ford Hospital nurse administrator Denise Robinson will now share how these principles apply directly to a process we're using already the Hester Davis Falls Program. One of our nurses actually went to a conference called the Niche Conference and heard about a program called Hester Davis. We started looking at that in late 2017 and then um, implemented it actually in August of 2018. Since then, we've seen significant decreases in falls across the system. Hester Davis is not just a nursing driven thing. Nurses are a big part of it, but we all play a part in caring for the patient and preventing the fall. With Hester Davis, the way that you standardize assessment is auditing. Um, 10 charts a week, then 10 charts a month, and you continue to audit every nurse and you're looking at, are they using the tool appropriately? So the way that you standardize is you have clear expectations and then you hold people accountable. In 2019, we have 21 units that have had a decrease in their falls and falls with injury. We have 12 units that actually have zero falls for 2019 so far. Once people start to see that it makes a difference, um, the train is rolling and everybody gets on and it's awesome because it really does make a difference. As you can see, CUSP is an effective way to eliminate patient harm. I'd like to share a few thoughts before we conclude. CUSP is not meant to replace anything you are currently doing. It's simply a tool you will use to help identify potential safety issues. It will help you brainstorm solutions and rapidly implement changes to prevent, reduce, and eliminate patient harm. CUSP team meetings are open forums. You are encouraged to attend and participate in these meetings. It is our mission to significantly reduce and eliminate the harm being caused to our patients. This isn't something I can achieve on my own or through a few team members. We need your help and commitment to join me on this mission, which is essential to its success. Thank you.